So we're back. Been a couple of days since I played this. I have to process through the communications department. Which is... Hi. Okay. Best. Whoa! <laughs> Got a rock at me. Fucker. I'm called for as I know. Am I safe? Right, where the hell am I going? Do I have a map? No. See through the communications department. There it is. I know. Oh god, there's millions of them. At least six million of them there. Huh. Where? Out bits of floor. Okay. We'll talk about throwing me into the deep end. Fucking hell. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. <laughs> Oh, that just wrecked the whole fucking place. That was cool. Is this a mail room? Clear a path. Oh, shit. That was the wrong button. Shatter projectile boost. Obviously need to upgrade my slots or some shit. We shall figure that out as we go along. And also, as Eric said, a lot of the stuff's upgrade materials for things. But I guess just haven't unlocked yet. I really wish these fucking problem solved. Press the wrong button. I really can't describe how much I hate that. Ah, oh, what fucking letter did I just pick up there? I keep doing that. Shit. Shit, see, that's the trouble. I don't know what one it was. That one? No. That one, maybe? I don't know.
because the mouse is uh, so sensitive, it just like takes it away. <laughs> House memory, okay. Mail room is to the right. Ah, so this is probably when we're gonna get our first. Locked. Yeah. Maybe there's a key nearby. Oh, look. This must open the door. Oh, we can. Whatever we claim control point, that's the one. Nice. Well, this is gonna unlock quite a few doors for us then. Oh god. Yep. And I knew something was gonna happen. They can fly now. Great. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Get some health from this one. Where? Ah, oh, I missed again. Oh no! I fucked it. <laughs> because of course I fucked it. Ooh, okay. Need a strategy for this fight. Oh great, did this tip just tell me there's fall damage in this game? Great! You don't know how good I am with fall damage? Uh. Regular fuckers for me to get some HP back. No. Did I just blow myself up? I tried to reload my gun. <laughs> uh, I fucked it. Uh, oh, pardon me. I wonder. I wonder if it's worthwhile doing a little bit of... Ah, okay, so that's the map. Because there's a few rooms with... Ah, we can do this. I just need to keep moving. Keep shooting. Here they come now. Right. Health. 
That fucker that just shot me scared the shit out of me. Who? What? Oh, you. I can hear somebody else. This is quite intense, huh? Hey! What are you doing? Oh, he's been a cheater. He ran away! Bastard. I have a feeling. Yeah, I don't think that's over. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Holly chamber. Well, that'll be it. So yeah, so this is all story related for things happening later on. That's cool. I wondered about that. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all to that and to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? Uh, <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Whoopsie. That's still not the button. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Alright, okay. And, and uh, go to collectibles. Research and records. Ah, that's him, yeah. Okay. His elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies. Observed in Bureau... Blah, 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 blah. Some prefer to char charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective <coughs> against the Hiss elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some has elevated have been levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording pa para para parapsychology. Um, how are they able to use paranormal paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? Also worth considering that his residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability into the individuals it corrupts. Refer to the file blank for report. Okay. And this is him. That's his ID. Okay. Interesting. It's another they file. Got him. Yeah, they did. But summary. Right, well, it's easy to remember that. But summary. But summary, yay! Okay, a spate of disappearances was traced at, uh, to a home in the city of Butt, or is it Butte? I don't know. It says Butt. I'm just gonna say Butt, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event response: Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blah 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 blah, which has been connected to a total of something disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days later. 
found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. Light switch cord and the butt's home closets disappeared during this incident. Okay. So basically, anything and everything goes, huh? The hotline can't be far now. Ah, surely not. Oh, I hear a phone. Hotline chamber. Jeez, I love these big texts. That's so cool. Hotline security log. Hotline security log. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's fine. Carl Bishop? Where did I recognise that name before? Unread. Holy scary log. Okay, I can it mark as red now? Yes, thank you. Assets, missions, loadout. Right, you're flashing at me, so what weapon mods can we do? Ah, okay, good. Damage, enemy armor. That's good. That could be nice, actually. We'll run with that for a while and see. Oh! The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. Uh oh. Well, something tells me that wasn't the right thing to do. I don't know what, but something doesn't tell me. Oh, quite a few deaths today, huh? Don't you dare. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't think it checkpointed me. Oh, I like that we sprint fast. That That's nice. Side motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. What the fuck? Pressing the bell opens different doors? Okay. Oh, here's one of these radios. Oh, I can't turn this one on. Okay. Nothing in here. Bloody hell. Nothing in here either. was a door back here that was locked. Yep. Wait, hold on to it again. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um. Oh, I didn't like that. I nearly fell and died. Oh god. Ah. Ah, oh, fuck. Clearly, I misunderstood what I was supposed to be doing. Supposed to be killing these. Oh, shit. Okay, bye. I'm assuming I just try and get past them then. Hear the phone a ringing. Ring, ring. Why don't you give me a call? It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially my head of operations she sees right through me she knows I don't like relying on people the only person you should fail is yourself but things change when you become director I have it the hotline I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. Yeah. I need to get back to Emily. Uh, I'm gonna go and lock the other doors first. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon oh. to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Oh! Hang me. Hotline. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Oops. Object is a 1960s era red telephone. Bake like telephone? Rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs something. The object allows the director to communicate with the something. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal. Mm hmm. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on a desk. Director Northmoor was the first known bureau agent to use it. Battery of tests were running objects. Okay. That's fine. Unread two. What's that? I've read the butt. How do I mark the butt is red? I read your butt. Which one of you fuckers wants to fight? Because 
know there's going to be one of these. Yes. Oh, I just love launching things at the. It's so much fun. I need to remember to do that when I'm out of ammo. Fucking rocket launcher having fucker. Jesus. What was a weird noise he made there? I didn't like that very much. Kind of went, oh. Where'd he go? Oh, hi. The noises as they spawn in are quite spooky. Whoa, okay, David, that that was uh, that wasn't smart. No, was it? Hot light chamber. Oh, flammable. Well, it does say on it. Been able to unlock doors. Yay. Martial lockdown distinctions. Uh, pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Eternal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator. Effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via directional override and the maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slapped together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralised, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system all clear. This process is not the same as a directoral override, so stop saying so in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, well, I kind of half expected... Can I... Oh, it's hurting me. Oh, shit. It didn't look like it was hurting me at first. Boo. God damn it. God damn son of a fucker. 